Since there's a lot of hype about traveling during the coronavirus, I thought I'd share my experience. I came home to Cleveland, Ohio to quarantine because it felt safer to be underneath my parents' roof considering the fact that I'm a financially unstable college student who's currently living in Lake Tahoe. My lease for my new house in Tahoe was starting and I got my jobs back so I decided I'd rather be in beautiful Lake Tahoe with my roommates for the summer rather than being in Ohio. My mom was freaking out saying that she saw on the news that masks were required during air travel. When I got into the airport, it turns out that this was not the case. Half the people weren't even wearing masks or gloves, including the airport workers. At the Cleveland airport, they only had one third of security checkpoints open. You think it'd make more sense to have all of them open to separate people more, but I understand the mindset because of the lack of people traveling. There was also a lot of talk about getting your temperature taken while going through airport security, but that didn't happen. There were also no social distancing markers in the lines either, telling you where to stand six feet apart. The ticket scanners at the front of the security had glass screens separating them, but I think masks were optional for security workers because only some workers were wearing them. The Cleveland airport was fairly empty. Most restaurants were closed, but of course, America runs on Duncan. This is the first time I've gotten to skate in the airport without anybody yelling at me. Usually these skates are packed with people, but not one soul was in this terminal. Social distancing wasn't really a thing on the plane. Mostly everybody had their own row, but some rows just took out the middle seat. How can you really even socially distance on a plane? According to my friend that flew Delta Airlines that day, they handed out masks and hand sanitizing wipes before getting on the plane, but American Airlines did not take that step. Dallas-Fort Worth Airport was a completely different scene than the Cleveland airport. Most of the restaurants were open and gates were pretty full. There was really no way to enforce social distancing in the gate area. Occasionally the intercom would make an announcement to social distance, but it really wouldn't do much. My second flight was also decently filled. I think American Airlines is only running a few flights a day, so the few flights they do have are fairly filled. On this flight, they did not have food or drink services, but they did hand out a little bag full of water and a snack. But once again, no mask enforcement or sanitizers were being handed out. When I landed in Reno, it was completely empty compared to last year when Burning Man was going on. They only had one baggage claim open, most restaurants were closed, and most gates were pretty empty. I really thought traveling in the middle of a pandemic would be a lot more climatic than this, but it wasn't. I hope everybody is taking precautions and being safe.